Hey guys, welcome to another geometry lesson. Uh, now we're going to move on from polygons and we're going to talk about angles on parallel lines. And the first rule we're going to talk about is that corresponding angles on parallel lines are equal, also known as the F rule. So you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Well, the first thing we're going to do is um, draw some parallel lines in GeoGebra. So this is GeoGebra and uh, you guys should um, be quite familiar with uh, some functions of the program by now if you have done the previous three lessons on uh, geometry. So what we're going to do is create two points um, just two points anywhere and we're going to use the line through two points tool to join up these two points with a line. Um, now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to use the perpendicular um, line button, click on the down arrow and choose parallel line. And then what we're going to do is click a point anywhere and then click on this line which is going to uh, create another line that is parallel to this line through the third point that we just created. So now you'll see that um, point C will always be uh, the line through point C will always be parallel to points A and B. So what we're going to do is I'm going to name these lines so I'm going to call this first line um, rename it, I'm not going to call it line 1 and the second line I'm going to rename it and call it line 2 so now you can see I have line 1 and line 2 and they're always parallel no matter how I adjust the points so I have two parallel lines and now what I'm going to do is well, firstly, I don't want to display the uh, axes, so I'm just gonna get rid of the uh, get rid of the axes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a third line that goes through lines A and C. And this line, I'm gonna call it the transversal. And the transversal is simply a line going across my parallel lines. Alright, now what the F rule says is that if you have two angles um, situated at the same relative position on the transversal, so for example, we have uh, the transversal is going across point A and point C. So let's make an angle um, at the top right hand side of both of these points. Oops. So let's go uh, points line one and transversal. Oh, it goes all the way across. Okay, let's just do these two lines then. Okay, so we're going to make the angle at the bottom right hand corner of um, the transversal in line 1 and as well as the transversal in line 2. So, angle A and angle B. And you can see that these two points, these two angles are always equal. It doesn't matter how I adjust the points how I adjust the parallel lines these two angles are always the same and the reason is because of the F rule or the rule that says corresponding angles are parallel lines are equal these two angles are both located in the bottom right hand corner of each of these points A and C so you can also say that they're both on the right hand side of the transversal and below the parallel lines and uh, they're both equal so that is the first rule which is the F rule and you can see the word F um, sort of uh, 
just from the position of these angles uh, you can see the letter F um, being represented in this instance okay so uh, let's just um, delete these angles actually I'll just delete one of them and I'm gonna uh, move it somewhere else so let me just move it like this and I'm just gonna copy this question into the into my um, into my geometry lesson so I'm gonna say that these two lines are parallel which they are obviously so this symbol here means that means that these two lines are parallel and I'm gonna say this angle here is angle X so the question is what is the size of angle X and the answer is X equals 124.87 degrees and the reason is because of the F rule right the F rule which is corresponding angles on parallel lines are equal Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.